that video is available in this video description you can go through it first to understand what are all the functions so basically object add functions consist of um, aggregate aware derive add the uh, derivable uh, add select add execute add variable add prompt like that so in this i will be showing you practically one by one means uh, how we can uh, use these functions so the first is uh, to understand aggregate awareness so aggregate awareness is a term where we uh, where it is used to improve the performance of the database queries or the reports so suppose there may be some request that uh, some of the reports are taking too much time to execute so at that time you can use aggregate function uh, which will improve the performance of the reports so aggregate awareness uh, just directs the server uh, directly that means first query this uh, objects and then uh, perform other uh, uh, operations so uh, it will process the query whatever we, we specify in that aggregate aware function so every data warehouse uh, have fact tables and summary tables so some fact tables will have the data which is generally not calculated or anything like means which is uh, uh, coming from the source it is getting loaded as is while in the summary table there are some tables which are created by the database uh, administrator who who calculate some of the values and stores at uh, in the summary table so summary table is an example of uh, like annual figures or there may be some quarterly figures uh, annual sales rev revenue so these are the some of the values which are stored directly in the table uh, so that it will be easy to uh, retrieve the data and to display on the reports because to calculate the data by using some formulas it will take some time and it will affect the performance of the report so that's why these are the some there are some summary tables which are used so uh, i'll be showing you how we can apply aggregate awareness in this um, information design tool so the first thing is we uh, need to insert the summary tables so we have in this uh, summary table there is uh, one table annual figures which will hold the data so i will add this okay i guess there is okay annual figures uh, yeah so i have added this annual figures here so now the first step after adding the annual figures what we need to do we need to join them with the uh, related tables so the second step after first step is inserting the uh, summary tables second step is uh, joining the tables so uh, need to insert the join so we have showroom id and um, uh, maker uh, id so we need to join with them so first is let's understand uh, so uh, we'll take annual uh, figures uh, it's a showroom id we'll join with the showroom uh, table so and click on okay so so this is uh, this joins got added now um, the second uh, second join which we need to add is uh, um, maker id so for that what we will do we will go to the insert join uh, we'll say annual figures from here so i'll take maker id and for here from i'll just take maker and maker id we'll validate this okay so this is the join which i uh, have uh, created so annual figures is uh, joined with the showroom table and maker table so that will it will maker will have the manufacturer detail and showroom will have the model uh, number there so let's uh, after adding the tables and joins the third step is to detect the context so to detect the context we need to go to the alias and context so there will be the context option means if you see there is a detect context option on the top side just click on that once you click on that there will be showing you this annual figures so uh, th this is the one uh, annual figures uh, context which we need to uh, select or accept click on okay so now this um, annual figures uh, it got added this is uh, context which got added here okay 
Let me show you means how it is there. Okay, so once you click on this, it will show up this uh, design uh, where it is. Uh, it will show how it looks. So these are the different different. Now we uh, we need to edit this uh, context, and uh, we need to exclude uh, whatever different different uh, objects are there. Uh, see means whatever the excluded we need to uh, in neutral uh, this uh, neutral this is again involved neutral means so we need to exclude this from the context. So just double click uh, on it, it will appear as excluded means for this context only we have these two joints which we have created now. So um, just make sure means we save it and once we uh, save it and you will see means just only these two uh, cables are there. Let me organize it. So now in this context only uh, this showroom uh, maker and uh, annual figures, these are the tables. So by specifying a context, uh, that means it will specifying a joint path means whenever there are these three, uh, three uh, columns will be involved in a, a business layer that will be uh, using these three joints only means it will uh, you will see this excluded this um, minus um, icon there. So that it will not take into consideration. Those. So that is the use of context. So once we have done this, means the first uh, three step is like first insert a, a summary table, second is joining with the other tables, and third one is uh, to uh, uh, third one is uh, to detect the context and accept the context. Okay. Once we have done this, now what we we uh, we will be doing? We will go to the business layer, and in business layer we will apply the aggregate aware function. So let's see means for sales revenue. So this is a function means for which it is getting a very, um, uh, so um, it is taking time to calculate this uh, annual sales re revenue. So for this, what we can do, we can use the aggregate awareness function, uh, which will, can, which will um, just get the data from the summary tables so that it will uh, be faster. So I have this uh, function. So what you can do, you can uh, instead of uh, this uh, calculation formula means you can add this aggregate awareness function. So what is this aggregate awareness will do? This is the f annual level is the first uh, sale value. So annual whatever the annual sales revenue is this first it will calculate that. Then it will uh, some other uh, values. This is the second level which is again that formula which, uh, which we are using to calculate the data. So this is an aggregate awareness function. So we can validate it and we can just save it. So now um, this is the third step, uh, fourth step, which we, uh, we we need to apply the aggregate awareness. And finally means we need to specify the aggregation navigation. So aggregation navigation is to define the incompatibility between the objects. So if there are incompatible objects, then it will um, not. So for that means the tool it automatically provide the incompatibility uh, uh, option here, or we can, if you know, means we can use that. Uh, let's click on this detect incompatibility. So if you see the, what are the objects are there, so we need to select means these are the different different objects which are incompatible to this. So we need to select that uh, and means. We, we, we need to make sure that it will be a selected one and click on OK. So whatever means after detecting it will uh, uh, just you need to check this option in compatible objects and click on OK. So once you have defined the aggregation na navigation now this is done means it will this aggregate aware function will direct the you uh, information design process that take this first annual sales value and then calculate this formula. So this way it will be easy for uh, understanding um, or improving the performance. 